Welcome back to Deloney V8 Motorsports. Got a new ride here. So uh, do a little walk around. I'll show you what we bought tonight. It is a, a 64 Buick Skylark Special. It's actually a one owner car. And uh, she's been used a little bit. It's got over 100K on her. And uh, I'm gonna do, uh, like I say, do this, the standard walk around like we do at BBP. And we'll kick it off like we do at BBP and say cheers, happy hour. It is a Tuesday night here in the soggy Oregon's. Actually today wasn't too bad, but uh, we'll show you this thing. This is definitely gonna be the before video. There's cobwebs and dirt on this thing that I'm just not having. So we'll get it all cleaned up. Uh, but first I'll take you around it and show you the before. Um, the original owner might actually be watching this thing. And so Cheryl, if you're watching, cheers. Uh, thanks for taking care of this old girl. She's gonna be inside and snuggled in between these two things. And uh, we're gonna take good care of her. So it's a neat old car and uh, I like Buicks. It's been a long time since I've had one. It, probably a dozen years uh, since I sold my last Buick. They're great cars and uh, um, they have a good following and they're special. And this one actually says special right on the side. We'll show you that. Okay, we'll take a lap around this thing. Very, very original, old gold Buick. One of the things I love, I'm not sure you'll see it too well, curb feelers. When is the last time you saw curb feelers? So this thing is at a pretty good life. Um, like I say, all original sheet metal, all original interior. Uh, definitely weathered. Uh, looks like it's had a repaint. You can kind of see that here. But uh, it's a neat old car. It's a post and it is a Buick Skylark Special as promised. See, it's special. So it took a little hit in the rear. Probably be hard to see in this light. But yeah, the bumpers pushed in there pretty good. Hopefully get a new bumper and pull that, pull that out a bit and uh, get her dialed back up. It's got a couple of little dings and dents in the sides. The package tray is definitely weathered, but not a whole lot of rust. Um, back window, as far as I can tell, back window and other areas, not too bad. I actually bought this mainly sight unseen. I saw it, pictures of it and a FaceTime video. Um, and uh, as I said, not too easy to find one owner cars anymore. And uh, this one near and dear to my heart. It's a Buick, it's gold. Nice bench seat comfort, Buick comfort there, automatic transmission. And wait till I show you what's under the hood. Manual steering and manual brakes in this old girl. And look at that, fireball. So for all my friends that like to drink that whiskey, this one's for you. So mostly stock under the hood that they don't believe the engine has ever been out of this car or been rebuilt. It is a V6, I believe it's a 231. I haven't really done any, any leg work on this yet or run any numbers or anything, but she still runs. It purrs, I drove it in here. I'll show you that at the end. We'll get a couple shots underneath this thing. Okay, we'll start at the front side. Not sure how this is gonna work. Cameraman here. Yeah, she's got a few old leaves, cobwebs, some grease, as you would expect, but everything's in place here all serviceable, rebuildable, restorable. And I like the old blue plates. Those are gonna stay. Get under the side of this thing, right there. Look at that, pretty clean. Had a lot of cars with a lot of rust in that spot. She's got the old slip and slide power glide. And generally speaking, the floorboards look pretty good. Gotta clean that stuff up and we'll see how it really looks underneath. But so far, so good. Check out the coilovers. She's race ready. You can see the uh, tailpipe uh, rusted off or came off of there at some point. So we'll get, uh, get something going on that. The gas tank's in great shape. It has one, one ding in it. Nothing leaking back here or anything like that. Once again, we've got the blue plates. We're keeping those. But uh, she's looking pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, no buyer's remorse here. I'm happy with it.
Fireball. 